So obviously Aaron Rodgers got injured last night against the Bills. Uh, folks are believing that it's a ruptured Achilles. Uh, what yeah. is your reaction? What are your thoughts? Well, my immediate reaction is you're obviously devastated for Aaron. The, I mean, the human side of you says this is there. It is on the board that that was the last football game of his career. I, I, I know right. people don't want to talk about that or you know think about that right now, but coming back from an Achilles injury is a brutal rehab for anyone. For a guy who's about to turn forty, I listen. I am I. Would my money be on? That Aaron Rodgers, that was the final play of his career? No. I don't think it's the likeliest outcome. Can you dismiss it as a possibility? Of course not. But So after, you know, the your heart goes out to Aaron, you obviously think these poor Jet fans. And I know Jet fans don't want to hear from me, and they're mad at me because I didn't believe in the team. And by the way, as maybe salt in the wound, the defense looked as advertised. The running game looked even better than even the most optimistic Jet fans could have hoped for. You got the win, which everyone's going to be throwing this term around today, and they're correct. It is the definition of a Pyrrhic victory. Uh, you win the battle, but you might have lost the war. And it is 24 years ago today that Vinny Testaverde blew his Achilles coming off what was at the time the best Jets season since Namath, the 98 team that went to the AFC title game, and then in week one, your quarterback pops his Achilles, and there is an element of, is this franchise cursed? And you hate it, but it's just the reality. I shouldn't say a curse is the reality. That's what fans are feeling. And so I do empathize with them. And I empathize with Aaron. Now, I will also say this, and maybe people don't want to hear this, but my job is to give my honest opinion. This is my honest opinion. While maybe a pop to Achilles was not, in fact, it wasn't foreseeable, even though, if you remember, Rodgers' first practice with the Jets, it ended early uh, yeah, so it sounds like for his future, you think that it's, you don't think it's super, you, you think it's not super likely that he retires, but he will still end I, up playing if he can maybe get surgery and get through this. Well, yeah, I mean, I think he'll, I think, I think he'll try to come back next year, but I also, what I also think is that to, to go back to what I was saying, sorry, we had a slight tech issue there, is Rodgers had a calf injury in training camp. It's now the same leg where it looks like he popped his Achilles. Again, we don't have the official confirmation, but that's what it's certainly, that's what everyone is assuming has happened here. And if you remember, like when Kevin Durant popped his Achilles, it started with a calf injury, it led to this. But the other thing is, watching that game and watching the four snaps Rodgers played, the Jets' failure to address... Their offensive line, which was why I was sounding the alarms all offseason, was instantly an issue. Instantly he was under duress. And I listen, I like Dwayne Brown a lot. And Dwayne Brown, I'm sure, feels sick that he got that he missed a cut block and Rodgers got hurt. But you have a 38-year-old left tackle blocking for a 39-year-old quarterback in a division that has Teams with fearsome pass rushes where you play the Cowboys in week two. Like, I I just do not think this was going to end well. Now, it didn't have to end tragically. And so, I, I feel sick for Rodgers. And for the Jets, I don't even know what you do for... We'll talk about what you do this year in a moment. I know you want to ask me that, Demonze. But planning for next year, if Rodgers wants to come back, now he will be a 40, soon to be 41-year-old coming off an Achilles injury? I just, it it doesn't get any worse than this. And the Achilles injury is a bit of a freak injury. 
your soon-to-be 40-year-old quarterback behind a makeshift offensive line getting hurt is not a freak occurrence. And it is, and even on the play that Rodgers got hurt on, it's a cut block, supposed to be boom, boom, out. I think it was Garrett Wilson didn't come open, so he was looking for someone, and it's just terribly unfortunate. And you feel sick for everybody involved, but it should be noted, like, 40-something-year-old quarterbacks get hurt when they're not named Tom Brady. Peyton Manning got hurt his second to last year and then suffered a major injury his final year. Drew Brees got hurt each of his final two years. Brett Favre with the Jets uh, tore his bicep and then played through it. I Old quarterbacks playing tackle football get injured. And it's... It's not the time, obviously, for any I told you so's or anything. It's not what I'm trying to do. But folks that were skeptical about the Jets were skeptical. The biggest reason was, is the offensive line going to hold up? And four plays into the season, Rodgers suffers a season-ending injury. It's brutal. Just brutal. All right, what are your follow-ups, Demonte? Uh, do you, you still think they can make the playoffs, given how the defense and the running game looked? And also... Do you think it's wait? Yeah. Actually, you know what? We'll wait for that one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. No, no, no. Go ahead. What? What? Oh. Ask me both, also, and I'll do, get to it. it, it uh, do you think that the Jets should call on Brady, like you alluded to in your tweet? I think they got to call somebody. They got it. But here's the thing on the Brady part of it, and then I'll get to. Go ahead, Demonte. Zach, I was. I was. First of all, I think it's it's got to suck mindset wise for these guys to still have won that game with Rodgers being out, because I feel like it's going to make them think even more in a certain direction, but glad that they got the win. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show, and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts, or just click the link in the description below.